So the way to make sure you've got these the right way around is to check before you assemble it all together. So now you've done one side, we have to assemble like the middle section as it were. So to do that, we take an I guess shaft and shove that in. Take the other one. Oh, perhaps if these are loose. There we go. Easy peasy. They don't need to line up exactly with the ends, but you know, somewhere approximate is good. And then tighten these gently onto the shafts. Uh, which way is tighter? So next, you want to place this on. So what you're going to do next? Oh shit! What we're going to do next is place this onto the rails. And at this point, you want to make sure that this lower bearing is how you need it to be for the final assembly. So it needs to have a bit of wobble, but not in that direction. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So that's too loose. Yep, that moves around. Don't want that. So this is too tight. There's no adjustment. So that's just about right. Now you can see that moves very slightly independently of the frame but it doesn't move outwards. So that's just the right tightness. Now you want to get this carriage on the right way as well, because if you put it on the wrong way, that will be a pain. The way to do that is identify the fans and the Titan extruder side, and those point towards the motors. So facing this way, slides on to the end Like so. Now there'll probably be some, probably won't be super smooth right now just because it's not fixed. So, well, yeah, it's bearings. What do you expect? So now we've got to get this piece onto the other side and clamp it down with this. So to do that, we're going to rotate the whole printer around. And now we've got this free side, which can accept this. Remember, Get this the right direction. It will be the opposite of the last one. So on this one, the fat bit that sticks out is towards the bottom. So at this other end, it's going to be towards the top. So just like this, push it onto the ends. Remember the screws will need to be loose, otherwise you'll never get it on. The carriage will probably be scooting all over the shop at this point, so be careful where that's going. There you got that on. Now that the carriage is on, push it through from the other side and start to bring that towards this end here. Make sure your bearing's ready to accept it and just push it across. It should come just about flush. And that's it for now. 